Okay, there is a new app for Windows called Chamomile. According to the maker of this app, this app will lower your PC temperature, reduce fan noise, and extend battery life. This app is free and really simple. Actually, I have it already downloaded. So let me show you guys how this app looks. So this is the app, really simple. All you have to do is uh, enable cooling mode. That's all. That's all you have to do, <laughs> okay? And you can actually see your CPU temperature in real time. So what I'm gonna do here is actually, uh, first I'm not gonna enable the cooling mode here, and I'm gonna test my CPU temperature by playing some games, actually just one game, Minecraft, and let's see how far the temperature goes. So I'm gonna create a new creative world and I'm just gonna run around and I'm gonna try to heat up my CPU. You can see the CPU usage and temperature at the top left side. So I'm just gonna you know, run around and you can see my CPU is now at 70 degrees Celsius, which is like really hot. Look at the CPU usage, 80%. Wow, Minecraft is a CPU intensive game, okay? So we know this is how far uh, this goes. Okay, now I'm gonna close the game. Now let's turn this on, the enable cooling mode. First, let the CPU cool down a little bit and I wanna see ideal uh, CPU temperature on my system. Okay, I waited about like one to two minutes and this is the CPU temperature right now. 45, 46, which is okay because I'm also recording this video using OBS, so that is also using the CPU. Whenever I do anything, like I have opened Task Manager right now, look at the CPU temperature. It goes up, but it gets back to 45, 46 again. So that's like the ideal CPU temperature on my system. All right, so now it's time to enable this enable cooling mode. I'm gonna turn it on and this is gonna actually change the color too. And we can actually see decrease in CPU temperature already. One or two degrees Celsius, okay? And there are a lot of things happening in the background actually. You know, I have this software that uh, zooms in to my screen. And whenever I do this, you know, CPU is going to be used and it's gonna raise the temperature and all that. Hmm, I don't know if this is working. Now, I'm just gonna wait for one minute and not gonna do anything. And let's see what our final CPU temperature comes out. Okay, it's been almost a minute now. And I can actually see uh, almost like five degrees Celsius decrease in temperature. It's going like 39, 40, even though CPU is still being used at 11% because again, as I said, I'm recording this video. There are a couple of softwares running in the background. If I close them, I might get like 35 degrees Celsius on ideal. Maybe this thing actually works. Now we have this thing um, turned on, okay? Cooling mode. Let's run the game, okay? Let's run the game and let's see how far it goes, the temperature. Okay, so last time it was at 70 degrees Celsius. And recently I have been playing some Minecraft. I haven't posted the videos yet, but I'm planning to post the gameplay videos on my second channel. So if you're interested, you can go there and subscribe and wait for my Minecraft gameplay videos, I guess. Okay, so now I'm gonna open that same creative world and uh, let's run around again. Okay, I'm just gonna run around Wow, okay, my CPU is being used at uh, 80%. Hello? This is impressive, wow, this is, this is insane. Okay, so when we have the cooling mode turned on, uh, it will reduce the CPU temperature, okay, and fan noise. But it says that this may slow down some processor intensive applications. Like if you're playing some CPU intensive game, you might not get the full performance boost. So in this game, I have capped the FPS to 120, I think. Yeah, uh, I have capped this to 120, you can see here. And what I'm gonna do here is actually increase the render distance for the chunk to 45. Before this, it was at 32. 
Uh, that means if I increase this, it's going to use more CPU and CPU will get hotter. Is there any way to enable the FPS counter in here? Because this FPS counter doesn't work with this version of Minecraft. You know what? I'm going to use the NVIDIA overlay. Okay, I'm not getting the frame rate for this version of Minecraft even in NVIDIA overlay. Okay, so... Now, what we can do here is we're going to use our eyeballs, all right? This is insane, actually. I can't believe this. Okay, I'm going to go down. Okay, I have set uh, the frame rate for this game, 120. I capped it there, and I can feel it. Maybe you can't feel it, but it's smooth. It's still smooth. Look at the CPU temperature, and I'm playing this game here. And look at the CPU usage almost like uh okay i'm gonna have to fly now almost like 90 percent it's above 80 percent because i have also increased the render distance wow and look at the cpu temperature only 54 degrees celsius which is lot lot lower compared to without this app chamomile okay so this is insane. Okay. I didn't expect that. I was like, okay, let's make some fun video about this app. Let's make fun of this app. But this app actually works. <laughs> okay. I don't know how. Look at this. Now I have turned off the cooling mode and look at the CPU temperature rising and it's going to reach to 70 degrees Celsius. It's already at 70 degrees Celsius. Look at that. Wow. Okay, this thing is kind of useful. I have been playing Minecraft recently, again, as I said, and this is going to save my CPU, at least for this game. Uh, this game is a CPU intensive game. I'm getting decent performance even with 45 render distance, which is the default one. I was having some issues, the FPS issues with 45. So that's why I decreased chunk render distance to 32. Uh, I can actually feel a little bit here, the lag, which was present even before using this app because of the render distance. Okay, I'm going to go back and I'm going to play on my actual settings. 32. Okay, I'm going to set it to 32. Wow, the CPU temperature is very stable. I'm going to go full screen. This is unbelievable. Okay, 50 degrees Celsius which is a lot better, 100,000 times better than the 70 degrees Celsius for me. <laughs> this is actually good and working. And the performance of the game is still pretty good. Again, as I said, maybe you can't see it. It's, it's good. Okay, it's good. It's playable. I mean, not even playable. I can't notice any difference here. And one more thing, this video isn't sponsored by anyone. Okay, uh, as you know, uh, I make videos on Windows, the new apps that comes out, and free and open source app. This is what I do, okay? This app is actually good, and this app actually works. I didn't even do any testing before recording this video. This is like straight, just genuine, you know, first impression. So when you use this app, you have to keep this in your mind. This will or may slow down some processor intensive applications. This is true because it's actually reducing the CPU power and maybe even CPU clock speed and all that. It is doing some magic in the background. But this app, yes, definitely works. Even if you're doing some heavy work or gaming, if you need to lower your temperature on those cases like you're gaming but your CPU goes brrrr or your PC's fans, yeah, I mean, this thing actually works. And this thing is simple. Again, as I said, this is the only thing that you need to play with. Enable cooling mode. You just turn it on and it's going to do the magic in the background. Okay. So there are settings. For example, you can change the Celsius to Fahrenheit. And there are some other settings that you can do. Launch app on PC startup and enable cooling mode on app launch. So it will do automatically in the background. You don't even have to open this app. And there are some other settings too so yeah pretty cool did not expect this to be honest i wasn't expecting uh, this app to work actually but it works as you saw so 
yeah that's it for this one hope you enjoyed it but if you still have any questions or you want to discuss something about this app you can always do the comment and we can have some chit chat in the comment section too yeah that's it i'll see you in the next one take care of yourself and have fun bye, -bye.